Hey guys, how you doing? It's Ryan here today with another Red Dead Online update. Actually, we should have a Rockstar update. This is actually going to be a Rockstar update video for what's today? Tuesday, the 18th of May, 2021. How you guys doing? Let's get into it because we got a lot to cover today. So let me get the let me get the Red Dead part of this out of the way because we got another stuff. We have a new wire today that's related to both GTA and Red Dead, which I want to get into. But first, I want to get out get this Red Dead update out of the way. So let's start first by opening our little um, collection packet here. Let's go our lower lockbox. And today's Madame Nazar collection is called Ancient Tools. Let's see what that's all about. So today our Ancient Tools is, uh, let's see, it's going to be, oh, it's only two of them. So today we have the Obsidian Arrowhead and the Horse Hairbrush. I think I got several of those, both of these actually. So, uh, this is not bad because it's $75 for only two of these. So that's pretty good if you have these, a lot of these, it'd be a good time to sell them. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, let's get to the rest of the update. So this week, uh, we also have, um, we had an excellent week last week with the trader. So don't expect a lot this week. So uh, what do we have today? We have triple, triple XP and cash on the race series and the featured series. Alright, that's not bad. I mean, I wish it was gold. Gold would be preferable, but uh, cash and RP is all right for those people who like to race. Uh, but also, we have 40% uh, off the bow, 40% off outfits and roll outfits, 40% off saddlebags and stirrups, and 30% off all race horses. Uh, not the best discounts, but it's it's okay. I mean, if you're new, the bow is very good. I also, oh, you know what? The miss one. 40% uh, off the Evan. No, 50% off the Evans repeater. That's a good beginner weapon too. So if you're new, the bow and the repeater are very good to start off with. Um, limited time clothing is the same as last week. The fan stove top, the Eberhardt coat, the McKay jacket, the McBay jacket, the Chambliss corset, and the Danube outfit. I think it's been the same for the last three weeks. So it's starting to not be it's starting to not be limited. It's just starting to just be there all the time. And for Twitch Prime, you got the the bounty hunter license, the library for the uh, bounty wagon. And uh, if you play before June 7th, you receive offers for half off the advanced camera uh, and select outfits of up to rank 15, plus rewards for five bleeding, blend, blending tonics and five legendary animal pheromones. So not the greatest. Not the greatest. I mean, ex after last week, I didn't expect anything this week, so it's not surprising. All right, so read that online this week's not that great. Let's get into the actual uh, news wire for this week because it has details on what's going to be happening for the rest of the year for both games. So let's go ahead and start reading it. Details on new updates on GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Plus Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and X on November 11th and more. All right. An assortment of new updates for both GTA Online and Red Dead Online are on the way through May and the summer month, bringing some of the most frequent fan requested additions to each game along with a host of new items, quality of life updates, and much more. All right. First up is GTA Online. In Los Santos, car culture is back on the streets in a big way, with new opportunities for fans and uh, fans of performance and customization upgrades to get together with like-minded gearheads to test and show off their rights, free from interference from authorities and other troublemakers. Other troublemakers, okay. The renewed interest is bringing a new underground car meet into the area, along with new additions to the local racing scene, and demand for stolen vehicles has never been higher. Expect high stakes and high action as crews hit the streets to get a hold of the latest vehicles on the hot list, challenge each other in new race types, or take part in a series of multi-part robbery missions where a precise modified getaway vehicle will be the best weapon, all later this summer. To help gear up for GTA Online Summer Update, 8 new stunt races are right around the corner, coming to GTA Online Stunt Race Series on May 27th. These new tracks will introduce an array of white knuckle thrills for stunt races and an assortment of vehicle classes. Shortly thereafter, fans of futuristic Deadline Mode will get seven new air arenas in which to obliterate opponents with their Shotaro bikes' explosive light trail. If eradicating waves of arm resistance is more your appetite, Survival Mode will also expand on new locations for Los Santos and Blaine County. Alright, as it relates to GTA, this update is not its not that bad. I mean, it's going to be, it's gonna be um, focused more on uh, customization and, uh, and, uh, future, and not futuristic, but I mean more like souped up cars. The one thing that interests me is the one about stealing cars. So maybe we'll get an expansion on import export, which is not and not, it's it's actually a great idea. That hasn't been touched in years. 
So that's not a great, that's not a bad idea at all. Hopefully that's what happens. And it sounds also like we're going to have an underground arena so we could do car meets. So now maybe we could do car meets without the orbital cannon showing up and blowing everybody's sky high. Which is I think what it means by other troublemakers. Also, like, Deadline and Survival, they've never, never been my favorite modes. But I mean, if they get updates, that's great. That's more stuff to do. So that's uh, GTA. Let's go to Red Dead. Next week, Red Dead Online delivers eight new races spanning iconic locations across the five states. From the arid from Tier Outpost of Gatu Breach to the mining town of Ansberg and the swamps of Lagrasse. Show off your proficiency on horseback in all forms of equine competition with new standard races along with new open races where it's up to you to determine the best path to ride through all the signal fires on a given course. Or try your hand at a new target and open target races where your aim is to take out checkpoints with your trusty bow and arrow while on horseback. All these races will be available at Red Dead Online on May 25th. So May 25th we're getting an update on all the uh, races. So that's not bad. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Red Dead Online Summer Update will add a diverse array of new missions across the world for those looking into the criminal underworld. Down in St. Denis, Angela Bronte's trusted... Let me see, sorry, let me just adjust my camera real quick. Uh, Angelo Bronte's trusted uh, lieutenant, Guido Martelli, is working to create his own criminal network. So whether it's intimidation, unsavory crimes, or larger high-stakes robberies, writers best be willing to do whatever it takes to earn their blood money. So finally, an expansion to maybe, hopefully, hopefully, an outlaw role uh, guy, um, that would be done by Guido Martelli, which is, I guess, a lieutenant for Bronte. So hopefully that's what that's like. Uh, and much more. The expanded and enhanced version of GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online are arriving on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, with new features and more on November 11, 2021. That's a lot later than expected. I thought it'd be like the end of the summer. Then I guess they're pushing it back to November. Uh, as an added bonus, this summer's update to GTA Online will include special benefits for players to take advantage of, of in these expanded and enhanced versions when they drop. Thus, in honor of the upcoming 20th anniversary of the, of the genre-defining Grand Theft Auto 3, they'll have even more surprises to share, including some specifically for GTA Online players. While the standalone version of GTA Online will be available to players on both platforms, this new standalone version of GTA Online will be available for free exclusively to PlayStation 5 players during the first three months. And PlayStation Plus members on PlayStation 4, make sure to claim your $1 million visiting the PlayStation Store start of each month every month until the launch of GTA Online on PlayStation 5 so you're gonna get a million dollars until November so November will be the last month we get uh, the million dollar bonus uh, with much more to be revealed stay tuned to Rockstar Newswire for details okay that's that's pretty much the end of the Newswire all right so as it relates to Red Dead Online uh, it sounds like we're gonna get an outlaw role um, or something similar to that effect or at least some sort of like high stake robbery which is what's needed this game needs us to do criminal stuff. I mean, that's the whole point of this, of this game. You know, the stuff we're doing with Chris with the trader cells, that's uh, that's supposed to be like un under the rug things that we're doing. But it's not quite illegal. The moonshine stuff is kind of illegal, but it's not like, it's not um, major illegal. We need to do robberies. We need to be able to rob trains. We need to be able to rob stores, banks, stuff like that. So hopefully with, uh, by introducing this Lieutenant uh, Guido Martelli, Hopefully that's a, a, an expansion to that going or into going into that role, which is I'm hoping what it's going to be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find out later this uh, at the end of the, this. I'm guessing it's going to be at the end of the year. Right now for Red Dead Online uh, for the summer, I think they're going to be concentrating more on the races. Like they're going to do uh, uh, adding more races, open races, and target races. So that's what the that that's what the summer update is going to sound like. And then maybe later on we'll get we'll get Guido Martelli and his uh, criminal network to do all the robbers and stuff. As it relates to GTA Online, I, I, I'm not surprised. Most of the stuff's going to happen later in the year when they do Expand and Enhance. The the summer update, the, uh, unless they, they really do what I'm thinking and they, they expand on the import-export, I don't think it's going to be much more other than uh, adding races and maybe a couple new cars and stuff. Just like last year where they just added a couple missions for the, the yacht captain and then just added stuff for the cars. And then we won't get anything like really good until we get the Expand and Enhance. Hopefully, that's my speculation. That's just by reading the newswire. That's that's the idea that I got. So it's actually exciting because we're actually hearing stuff for the future, which Rockstar rarely ever does. I mean, it's not a roadmap per se, but at least it's something. It's better than not hearing anything and just hearing it like at the last week of uh, before the update drops. So uh, at, at least it's uh, it's going in the right direction. So hopefully these updates will be good. This these both of these games really need the exp the the extra content. So I'm just hoping that the content's good. And uh, we could able to expand the game and we'll be playing for months on end. 
So that's all I had to share with you guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. Take care, and I'll see you next time.